So what we were trying to think about when we were designing the campus was to make this not seem like one of those stuffy lecture theatre halls that you get at a lot of universities. I mean, the important thing is that if you're going to come in to learn, you want it to be a nice place to be and a nice place to spend time. And offices now have completely transformed in the last 20, 30 years. They used to be pretty depressing, sterile places, and now they're much more fun, much more like your home, very lively environments, which are good places to hang out where you'd want to be anyway. And so we thought we'd try and create a university campus that was a bit more like that. Um, so this is a place that students, you'll often find them hanging out here, even when they're not having to be in or having to learn. Um, our staff like hanging out here. It, interchangeable spaces um, and people often come and say oh yeah this is um, in fact someone came today and said this is the Google of uh, universities um, now that's perhaps a bit strong but you know it's just because it looks like a fun nice place to hang out and learn hello my name is Felix I'm an LIS student in my second year I'm studying interdisciplinary problems and methods and I'm going to take you on a tour of campus today just coming up now and here we are Morning! So here's an entrance space. So behind me we've got the reception and here a little area space. We've got a table right in front of me. Um, we've got a little meeting space for kind of one on one with two chairs here. And then if you come with me around here. So here we are in a lobby space. So here we've got the blackboards on the wall where you can write with uh, chalk. I remember on the first day we came in and we all kind of mapped our different disciplines and it was incredible seeing this incredible myriad, myriad of different disciplines, different backgrounds. It was incredible actually. Um, and we've got these incredible plants um, which are really good kind of oxygen, light, and really kind of brighten up the place. Um, there are some really nice places to sit quietly, contemplate, but also to kind of have little meetings, quiet meetings, quite nice quiet space out here. Um, now why don't you come on through and let's have a look at the reading room. Here we've got an amazing um, array of books, um, all part of them for the course, and then part of them just general really interesting books um, by a couple of faculty, a couple of authors there are the faculty here, which is really interesting. And it's a great place to sit, um, got these lovely sofas, lovely chairs. I come down to come down here, a couple of quiet meetings down here. It's a really nice place to be. So I'm on floor one now. This is one of the staff art, so the kind of open door into the staff room and you can go and chat with them whenever you want. There's also a whole lot of brand and merchandise over here, they store it and they kind of bring all the letters together and send them out to the students. We've got amazing plants again, really help with kind of the vibe and also their auction room. But now let's uh, head on up to the second floor. Currently I'm in the con room. So the con room is the area where we hang out, outside lectures, where we can tour, where we can kind of integrate, but also where we can just kind of chill out. Um, so I'm just I'm show you a couple of moments. So let's first go over to the pool table. So here's the pool table. Um, play a lot of pool here. Um, we've got a score table over there, and it's a great place to just chill out and um, just calm down from the places. The piano is a great addition. This was given to us by Kestrel, who's the head of digital, and um, you regularly hear people playing, and it's, it's a really nice additive to the uh, campus. And a couple of people are really kind of learning how to play it, so it's really cool actually. Um, next is the egg chair and the map, just around here. Right, here is the egg chair. Absolutely love the egg chair. It's a great place to sit. You really can kind of get into your own space, really get some work done. And we've also got a map which Visual Methods did um, as kind of put on like special places to us around the cohort, accommodation, things like that. Um, but it's a really nice place, got an incredible view, really big windows, love the place to work. Now, next I'm going to take you up to third floor. Let's go. So here is synthesis. This is the main lecture hall. Now it's not a traditional lecture hall where you have one person at the front and they just kind of speak to you. It's really collaborative. So we've got the plectrum tables which Ed is now going to explain on. One thing that our lead academic, Carl Gombrich, wanted to do was have some tables that are in the shape of a plectrum, like you strum a guitar with. And his theory on this was that no one's ever at the head of the table that's a sort of very democratic, good for learning shape. So we've got plectrum tables who knows whether that's played out as Carl imagined, but people seem to like them. These plectrum tables for me have really worked. I've really enjoyed collaborating around them. Um, I quite like the shape of the side, I feel like it fits the space quite well. It also means that it doesn't produce one central uh, lecture. Still on floor three, so on all floors we have kitchens, um, which is brilliant. So you can have coffee, teas, hot water, and microwave, which is 
currently out of use, but yes. And we also have what they call uh, no sport right here, which is Shenzhou 1201, which is our weekly newsletter made by students uh, for everything that we're doing, for every activity that we have in the week. Uh, we also have an incredible kind of maker space. This is taken over by the Art Collective, which is one of our societies. Um, and uh, this is where they kind of do all their creation stuff and art, which is really cool actually. And then, uh, last but not least on this floor, is the uh, prayer room, which I'll show you right now. Let's go. So this is the contemplation space, which is a great space. We've got prayer mats, um, we've also got a really nice pair of pillows, which you can't see here, um, a really nice carpet, um, quite a cool whiteboard up here. And this is all about kind of being quiet, um, taking time, having a nice space to get away from quite a, quite a hectic life that, prior, that um, LAS is. So I'm on floor four now. This is uh, one of our other teaching spaces. A little bit of a smaller teaching space, more towards the masters, but it was also actually designed for the second cohort and even your new cohort if you if you do uh, end up coming to IS. So let's come on in. So this room was mainly used for disciplinary perspectives, so philosophy, psychology, biology, um, so smaller groups, um, not your full view group will be in here. Um, it's a great space to kind of clarity work, got lots of different tables. Um, we've got charge in the middle to charge your phones and charge your laptops. And we've got the incredible blackboard wall for um, writing and annotation. So I'm now on floor five. This is our kind of quiet working space. So I'm going to take you in what we're going to be doing. 